All right, so you want to land your first junior front-end role in 2025? Cool. Let's keep this simple. No BS, just what actually matters. First, get your basics right. You need to know HTML inside out, use clean semantic tags. Then, make sure your CSS game is solid. Things like Flexbox, Grid, Responsive Layouts, and JavaScript, learn it properly. Variables, functions, arrays, objects, plus ES6 features like arrow functions, destructuring, async await, and yes, learn TypeScript early. It might feel a bit weird at first, but it can save you from so many bugs later. Then pick a framework, React, Vue, or Angular. It honestly doesn't matter which. If you choose React, most people do, learn hooks, props, component life cycles. Eventually go deeper, like using Next.js or learning how to handle state properly with something like Redux or Zustand. If you go with Vue or Angular, same thing. Go deep, not wide. Next up, tools. Learn Git, not just Git add. Actually understand commits, branches, merges, and how to use GitHub properly. Know how to work with NPM, how to debug with dev tools, and how to deploy with Netlify or Vercel. Then start building. Build real projects, uh, things that solve a problem or look good. But don't just build, care about performance. Compress images, avoid layout shifts, lazy load stuff, Learn the basics of accessibility, like using proper labels, keyboard navigation, and color contrast. It's not optional anymore. And yeah, learn a bit of testing. Start with Jest. Try Cypress when you're ready. After that, build your portfolio. Put three to five good projects in there. Hosted, uh, live, mobile-friendly. Write clean readme files, show your thought process, and wrap it all up in a personal website that actually reflects you, not some generic template. Then it's time to apply. Fix your resume, tailor it to the job, practice whiteboard-style questions, solve coding challenges, and be ready to talk through your projects. And if you don't know something in an interview, just say so. Be honest, be curious. Also, don't ignore AI tools. GitHub Copilot, ChatGPT, they're helpful, but you still need to think like a developer. Use them smartly. And hey, here's the realest part. You're going to get rejected. A lot. That's normal. Everyone does. But don't give up. Don't forget why you started this. Every rejection, every bug, every awkward interview, it's all part of the learning curve. So stay consistent, keep building, keep growing, and make 2025 the year you finally break into tech.